What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have a bit of an informational type video for you guys. I'm going to be giving you some pick fed tips. I know I'm not the greatest pick fedder. My posing's not the best. You know, I don't have the greatest pick fed in the world. I just work really, really hard on it. And I try to give you guys the best and most entertaining show. Me and my brother work together very hard, you know, to put this show together for you guys. And I hope you guys do enjoy MDT. You sure do seem like it, you know, with all the great comments we get and all the likes and everything. And I really, really appreciate you guys. We are so blessed with such an awesome fan base. The MDT universe is truly special. So I wanted to make this video for you guys to help you guys out if you wanted to make your own pick fed but um, I'm just going to go through a few of the pointers. You know, not everything in this video you need. It's just some things that, you know, I could recommend to you if you were to start your own. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started because I know that I don't want this video to run too long. So let's All right, do guys, it. So the biggest thing for me is number one has to be lighting. Lighting is so important for me. I think it's probably one of the biggest things. You know, if somebody turns on your pick fed and they can't even see what's happening in the ring, you know, if they're right here from this view, you, get, you know, you got your hard cam view or whatever, and you can't even see the ring, who's going to watch that? If I can't see the figures, why am I going to be able to watch your match? Why do I care about your match if you don't even care enough to put you some good lights in here? So what we have here is some great value uh, daylight bulbs. I believe you can get them for like six bucks in a four pack like this, and they're really awesome. If you don't have these tall lamp posts, also, I would recommend getting these. They are about 5'4", I think, or so like that. 5'4 to 5'7", and they have a three-pronged one, and then I have this five-pronged one. I am missing the other bulb there, but I have two more at school, and um, it's two more just like this one right here, and they're really awesome. They're not even that expensive. I think they run like 20 bucks a piece, and even if you can only afford one of them, just get one of them because you can see the wonders that it does. It really looks like an arena, really gives it a lively feel. If you watch MDT Live or Vindication, you will definitely see that it is bright in there and you can see everything. So that is definitely the first thing that I recommend and is a great tip for starting a pig fed. The second tip that I recommend, guys, is to have a clean setup. You know, you don't want like dirty laundry, you don't want your lunch that you ate earlier, you don't want anything in the background that looks, you know, uh, off-putting, you don't want anything to uh, take the focus away from your match. So, um, with my pick fed, with me and my brother, we wanted the most professional look possible, so you know, we had to hook it up with the crowd background, and um, we wanted a crowd as well with the barricade. We wanted the full works, you guys know how we do it, we always, uh, we go 100% in but um, announce area and everything. So you want to have a clean setup. Again, you don't have to have a crowd background. You can have a poster board, something like that. You don't have to have a crowd. If you have extra figures and you want a crowd, go ahead and do it. Obviously, you probably don't want just one member of the crowd out there, but um, just the biggest thing is you just want to have a clean setup. Like I said, uh, you don't want anything to take away from the matches that are happening in the ring. The next tip I have for you guys is to never, ever use basics in your pick fetting like somebody else that I know. Bruh. So what I'm saying, guys, is you don't want to use basics because what I'm saying is it's very hard to make realistic poses and it makes them look all weird. Look, if you're going to run, he's going to look like this. And it's just, I don't know, man. Like, does this look like he's running? I don't know. It just looks weird to me. I, I, yeah, just trash basics. Um, you want to use elites. You guys know how elites work. You get way more articulation. You get ab crunch in here. You get wide range of legs. And now, with basics, you can't even get a bicep swivel in there. So it's very tough to even do a match. It's very hard to get any good posing in there. So I definitely recommend elites. If you don't have an elite of a Sami Zayn, say you're booking a match between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens and you have a basic Sami Zayn and an elite Kevin Owens, take the Sami Zayn head off and put it on something else before you use a basic. That's just my honest opinion. I don't know. I just can't stand basics. It really takes away from the match and the posing just looks a bit off the entire match. So that is definitely tip number three. Tip number four, guys, make sure that your pictures are clear like this. You do not want any pictures like this. You want them to look like this. You want them crisp and clean, real nice, contained. You don't want anything, you know, out of place. You don't want anything looking dumb. Every single picture in a pig fed matters and you don't want to waste any time when you get in there and work because, you know, we put a lot of effort into these things and you definitely don't want to waste any time getting blurry images. You know, you get your whole entire pay-per-view done, you go back, you look at it, and oh my god, Sami Zayn's blue thunder bomb is freaking blurry. What am I going to do now? Now you have to get back out all your figures, get all that stuff done, do the setup, and retake the picture. So make sure that your figure or your pictures are very clean and clear 
if you don't have any type of camera that is nice, you know, you can always use your cell phone. Every cell phone nowadays pretty much has a nice camera. If you ain't got that, I know a lot of people use their iPad. So definitely investigate. Make sure you can use some nice um, quality images. And make sure your lighting. Lighting will definitely go hand in hand with that because if you have good lighting, most of the time your pictures are clear. So again, no pictures like this. All pictures like this. And the last tip I have for you guys is to have fun and make it your own. You know what I'm saying? Don't go out there and try to be like everybody else. Try to bring your own style to your pick fed at the same time while having fun. You don't want to, you know, stress out. Don't put too, like, don't be too hard on yourself. Go out there, have fun while doing it. If you get some constructive criticism from another pick fetter, just accept it and move on. No need to be a dick about anything in this community. We're all just trying to have fun. We're all just trying to bring an entertaining show to everybody. So um, I would definitely recommend that and also just uh, try to be the best that you can be every single time. Try to improve from each show that you do. If you go back and watch our first episode, it is atrocious to the one that we posted yesterday. So that is also a great tip that I would recommend. But that is pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. If you have any tips that you would like to leave, uh, like if you have any tips that you're a pick fetter and you would like to pass on to anybody else, please leave them down in the comment section below. There are a ton of other things that I could have included, but I may make this a series, you know, episode two, episode three, and bring more tips in as I think about them. But these are just five quick little tips for you guys to improve yourselves. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Leave a like down below if I helped you out. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.